I'm Al Roth. I'm the professor of economics here at Stanford University. Economics is about how people do things. Loosely speaking, economists study all the ways we behave when we're not alone. We often coordinate and cooperate and compete, and sometimes there are institutions that make that easy, and sometimes they don't make it as easy as they could, and there are opportunities to make them easier. There was a long time where, where economists thought of markets as something that just happened, a little bit the way biologists used to think of plants. So, so I've been involved in uh, helping to organize labor markets for, for new doctors, for instance, and for new economists, and school choice systems for putting children into schools in big American cities. And lately, I've also been working on kidney exchange, how to help increase the number of kidney transplants by doing a better job of matching donors and patients. One breakthrough moment came in 1995 when I was sitting in my office at the University of Pittsburgh and the phone rang. and. On the other end was the director of the National Resident Matching Program, the clearinghouse that, that gives American doctors their first jobs. And he asked me, would I direct a redesign of the match? Still, I, I have a visceral memory of that phone call because I remember thinking, why me? And, and the reason, of course, why me is because I had been studying the market. And I realized that if I agreed to, to help redesign the market, these hard problems would become my problems. And that's really the, the moment when I became a market designer uh, in the sense of design as a verb. Well, I guess this all began when I was a, a child. I'm a child of the Sputnik era, and uh, there was a lot of emphasis on science, and my older brother, who was 12 when I was eight, he thought we should be scientists, and I thought that was a great idea. So, uh, so ever since then, I've been trying to understand the way things work. So some kinds of technology that are possible today weren't possible before the internet, and other kinds weren't possible before smartphones. We all sometimes find ourselves in, in thin markets, and, and the internet has stepped up to provide various kinds of dating markets and matrimonial services that, that increasingly are important for, for American matrimony. So, uh, so that's just one example of, of how marketplaces are important in some of the most important decisions in our lives.